Susan Swain has lived in Arlington Plaza for three years. I love living here. It's a retirement community where everybody lives in their own apartment. But when COVID-19 began to spread, Susan became worried. I have COPD, diabetes, uh, congestive heart failure, and obesity. I knew that if I ever got it, I'd be dead. In mid-March, as a precaution, management closed down the communal dining room and began delivering meals to residents' rooms. The visitors were still coming and going, and Susan worried COVID-19 might be spreading throughout the complex. So she reached out to her own nurse practitioner, Connie LaRue, for help. You know, they requested the test, and then we went, you know, I, I just said, yeah, well, let's just get some answers. Susan and resident Karen McKee went door to door asking other residents if they wanted Connie to get them tested. When management found out, Susan and Karen say they discouraged residents from getting tested. I had the distinct feeling they just didn't want to know if anybody was positive in this building. I was being told by some of the residents that they were being told by one of the managers not to take the test because it's not necessary. You don't need to take the test. On March 25th, LaRue oversaw the testing of 29 residents. That's less than half of the 84 people that live there. Out of those 29 residents, four tested positive for COVID-19. The Tarrant County Health Department confirmed one home health care agency employee who was caring for a resident also tested positive. Still, Karen and Susan believe the majority of residents have never been tested. What do you think we would find if they tested everybody at Arlington Plaza? I think we would, we would find more cases, but then also these residents would be able to get the help that they need. LaRue says she had enough kits and could have tested all of the residents. Uh, this should be a time that we can all um, uh, be proactive in our communities, you know, where not everyone is getting that. Arlington Plaza is owned by Holiday Retirement, a company with similar facilities across the nation. In a statement, a company spokeswoman told us, there was no active retaliation. There was no active encouragement not to be tested. She added, at this time in March, public health advisories were recommending that testing be limited to individuals exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19. Arlington Plaza's management team, as well as Holiday's corporate office, have been in contact with the local health department. They have assured us that Arlington Plaza has followed all recommended guidelines and procedures. I just am terribly dissatisfied with the way management has been handling this whole thing. I truly am. Residents have been isolated in their apartments for more than a month. In a letter sent last week, residents were told the current state of quarantine had been extended through May 5th due to the fourth resident continuing to test positive. Still, Susan and Karen believe that the testing they pushed for saved lives and prevented COVID-19 from spreading. Just do not understand the complacency that happened so early on here. In Arlington, I'm Tanya Isaac.